Hello everybody, we're back. Um, given that this is going to be the first episode of Legends Arceus. You may be wondering why I'm saying that. If you notice in the chat, um, I got about two minutes in and Mercury reported that there was an incredibly weird beeping noise, no audio, we had to fix it, etc. So now I'm going to start the game and I'm going to try to reenact my um my reactions to everything. I already know the thing at the beginning now. But we haven't gotten up to where we select our starter or anything. We just met Laventon. He hasn't even introduced himself yet. Mercury, how do I sound now? You missed my weird voice. Okay. I think you're good now. Sounds good. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus, or Arceus, but that just sounds stupid. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. And I was very suspicious because I was like, we just saw these exact designs. We did. What is thy name? Well, there's really only one name I can go with. Is correct and as it should be. Mitsumi. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Mitsumi. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. I'm not actually going for Posh, I'm going for Abridged Popo. I know, it was a ridiculous idea. Then I was like, wait a minute, that shirt looks awfully modern. Yep, 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 we're being isekai I'd wear that shirt. Got any games on your phone? This is the second weirdest day I've ever had with a portal. I like that sigil in the corner there. It looks like a gash. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my girl? I won't be playing this game until Saturday. Going against everything I hear against spoilers, and I don't care. This looks so interesting. <laughs> Hmm. Notice over the mountain there. Look at that. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you see my hand. 
Why, oh, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow add a memory? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Wanna offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? How should I know? <laughs> so, you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, that's a proper pickle indeed. I'm quite sure you'll be able to survive. No one paying any attention to the thing in the sky. Ah, oh, see? Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Boom! Plish plash! Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon who need tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, oh, do you even know what a Pokemon is? Read my shirt, fuckface! What do you think that is? My, that's a relief. Thought you fell from the sky. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Mitsumi. Name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. D doesn't it mean, like, beautiful dawn or something? Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. No, they're given his name before he actually says it. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. Arceus just casually throwing a tantrum on Spear Pillar in the background. <laughs> Most to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. As Pokemon such as these three, you wait. That one can even fly. Hey, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think I, you could help me round them up? I beg you. My ridiculous striped pants. H3! Wait! Ooh, oh, look at this. I got camera control. Ooh. Ooh. There's like ambient noise. Oh my goodness, look at that. Goodness gracious. I'll swim home! Oh, there's a lot of ambient noise. Oh! There's a glowing, beeping object over there. It's what- it's the remains of my cellular phone! Don't suppose there's any signal around here, huh? I like how it's indicated by the mandala. That's really neat. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. Oh, if you're wondering where I put the uh, galactic phone clip from earlier, it's on the shelf somewhere back there. It's a Pikachu! Hello, the animation voice. A message appeared on the screen! <laughs> I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. I keep wanting to be able to pick stuff up, you know? Can I pick these flowers? Nope. 
Okay, there's Lavington. Whew. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, oh, I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I try catching my little runaways by tossing some pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you know? See? I'd love to get if you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. 3D Pokemon is so different. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Apparently? <laughs> That one over there is Cyndaquil. A fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Right now, it's just having a tantrum. We're going with Cyndaquil, by the way, because it's the only one I don't think I've ever actually used as my starter. The Pokemon of the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water. It can barely using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. I go back catching Pokemon. Cyndaquil is a solid starter, so I've heard. Here you go, my girl. Pokeballs! Throw these at Pokemon to catch them! Excuse me, I received how many? Oh, that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now that I've mentioned already, the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Wow, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know I've just met, but I'm afraid I'm no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you catch my three one runaways. Now... The proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Uh, well, be for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dial lack of skill in this area. Hardly use any of these starters and think of Pinky Gosh. What? They're all good starters! The ZR button. And take aim. Okay, well, I see Oshawott over there. I see Rowlet over there. Okay, there. If you run out of balls, do just say the word. How many are you carrying on you? The Cyndaquil in Crystal and dominates you the entire game. Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon! Seems you caught the deck for this Pokemon catching business, Masumi. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my doll and runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. None of the options seem to be available right now. Oh. Survey tips. Okay. Game controls. Believe it, Mitsumi! Incredible! You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, not never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed! Just one more to go, let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we?
<laughs> Aww. Ah, oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen yet listen to anyone. As nice as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you come fallen. <laughs> And I must say, it seemed I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? I can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here now. Yeah, you think it has something to do with the giant gash in the sky over the mountain? Seek out old Pokemon? That object's an arc phone, you say? An old device could it be guiding you somehow. Where is she putting that? <laughs> that thing is huge. Indulge me for a moment. There's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalogue a Pokedex. It's proper Pokedex. It's a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And then lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented. Not many have mastered the skill of using them. Maybe hire, like, some ball players? And to you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. The goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Uh... Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Oh my god, he's just like Rowan. I haven't done this quickly becoming my favorite professor. Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. Thank God I'm not going to stand there and say the same thing for much longer. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. We'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Did she only just notice? The crack in the sky getting bigger all the time. There's a hole. There's a hole at the top of the mountain. There's a hole at the top of the mountain. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole at the top of the mountain. <laughs> Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady is a great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you forgive my bringing it into the village for a bit. Brick row housing? Well, I guess it's just the one brick building, but. This way, if you please! 
Dear will I feel, uh, it's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. The road we're on now is known to the Lake Hills as Canal Avenue. I've never seen that trail here before. This was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do and not much to do it. Look at the outfit right there. Where'd you come from? Recruit for the survey car. Since we so no know so little of the local Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. I'm impressive building ahead of us, the Galaxy Hall headquarters with the entire outfit. Hi. You're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. Oh, botheration! I'd almost forgotten. I had to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. May I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Is this past this bridge then near the left? The wallflower, it's called. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Okay. Hmm. In an unfamiliar land. Not now, you'd better head to the wallflower. Hey kids. This region is huge, and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too. But you came here anyway, how come? Back in my hometown, I got an older brother who's gonna inherit the family farm and all. But I'm gonna make my own way here in Hisui. His name's Waka. I couldn't not. <laughs> you played Final Fantasy X, right? <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone capable of catching the Pokemon to fill all the pastures here. I do not know how to do a French accent. Oh, there, it's dangerous beyond these gates. You should stay inside the village. Ah, Pokemon. Terrify me. Even going out to gather berries is the worst. I am not going to be able to keep track of everyone's voice, okay? I'm just putting that out there. I see there's a picture of Volo up there already. I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hon. Where might they be from? Oh, hey! It's my man! Now, who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. Is he actually young? I... I don't know, 30s maybe? Hey. <laughs> you don't know why I wanted to take your picture. In about 200 years it'll make sense to you. By the way, never reproduce. I just want to put that out there. Your descendant is going to be a complete dick. Hang on. He has green hair, green mustache, gray beard. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? <laughs> the wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. <sighs> Who in the world are you? What's with that bizarre garb you're wearing? Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. For you to get in, someone must have vouched for you. 
You're Professor Lavington? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though, letting Pokemon run off and give them the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled him for sure. The professor, well... Unfortunately... Uh, unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. It Everything will be quite alright now. Sumi here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? It makes me think that's a good idea. We can't just take it any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was suspecting. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Lavington has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Wait, isn't that called slavery? Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. I do? Okay. <laughs> Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. You're not even going to interview me or anything? Oh, most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, nah, would you care to join us for a meal? Sure got plenty of questions for our visitors. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Leaf always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share meals and pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Potato mochi? Not if we'll stop, Benny. Much obliged. Potato mochi never fail to please. Where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah! You know that great hell in the sky that one people call the Space Tom Rift? And their friend fell right out of it! Was that a joke? <laughs> it's so casual. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any known phenomenon. I concern myself with only with facts. And this sweet hat. Now you don't know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forest, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Ah, well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess and what sorts of wondrous things they can do. Ah, that's where Mitsumi will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. It means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. G that's really something. We consider ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon when fending off their attacks. Now to be fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. The key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems a new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Ah, your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. Slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. <laughs> I'm sure we'll start to rate in the good cat and stress eating soon enough. <laughs> God. Now, have you film it, Sammy? I think, if you make it in the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. <laughs> a 
It's quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know we won't have to, we won't get to have Mitsumi join the survey corps unless she passes the trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Mitsumi's skills. <sighs> Let's hope it's not misplaced. Mitsumi, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may zoo quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Bye. <laughs> Captain Silene's like Hisui in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Ah, now she simply puts on a stone front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? Good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. With that, I'll bed you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. It's a good thing we have the exact same colloquialisms as we do in my era. Still, people falling from the sky. That's some kind of story. Yeah, see, it's got those weird colored lines coming out of it. They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my soot foot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. Now that's a weird thing to close off. Are you looking for someone? This must be some kind of workbench. Oh yeah, since I could... He looks like someone too, but I can't put my finger on who. The Galaxy team is made up of several corps. Let's see. There's a security, construction, and agriculture corps, and a few others besides. Oh, is it charms? Oh, investigate. Training grounds. Let me in! Let me in! Well, I'm still getting that nice ambient noise. Can I pick up this axe? No, I cannot. <laughs> When can I dodge roll? Oh, hey, look, I can already sneak. Okay, there. Can I climb? No, it won't let me. Not yet. It might not ever let me. I don't know. Shrine Guardian, watch over us. Lucille. I'm here to give thanks to the Guardian of this shrine who watches over all in Jubilee Village. Okay, yes. <laughs> Why, that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> Beauregard! This is the guy I remember from the the trailer. Commander Komodo is, fanta Komodo is fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once set a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. Can't wait to play this game. I already love all these characters. Captain of the Survey Corps, Eileen. I wonder if anything actually scares her. She's just really good at hiding it. Oh, hey. A new hairstyle means a fresh outlook, and a fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. 
Yeah. Okay. I want green hair as soon as I hum as hu soon as humanly possible. Sleep until morning in the futon in your quarters. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. It's a jug used to store drinking water as a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Books. Oh, there we go. Don't wish for your, your, your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Okay. Oh, it's not letting me zoom in. It looks like someone hung their sandals up there. Dresser, very solid construction where extra sets of clothing can be kept. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill-afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head-on. This is some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Ray, are you keeping your rock collection? It's a paper lantern. It seems to use oil as its fuel. I got nothing else to do. Oh, vibrations. You hear that? Did you freaking hear that? <laughs> Hey, are you in there? Are you, are you awake? There was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. It's a full-length mirror. Wait a second. Yes! Look at that! Her shoes disappear and reappear as she crosses the threshold here. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, that's fun! To sleep all night? Alright, I know it's not easy in a strange new land. Better not keep Captain Silene waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. I wonder what a Starly would like. You can throw spoiled apricorns at wild Pokemon and make them drop their defenses. Then they'll be easier to catch. Galaxy Hall, what do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! I do not know who Pacella or Yoshiro are gonna look like. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides! I sent out my partner Pokemon, but it gets all back, outnumbered! This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the Medical Corps will put you to rights! You uh, do realize if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Oh, 
Oh! She's got an Advera back there. Captain Silene, ma'am, I brought Mitsumi. You may enter. Let's just get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, St Starly, and Shinx. Oh, well. <laughs> three species right away, but none of us have ever managed that! Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. I don't know where I'm carrying these Pokeballs left. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Ray, I'll expect you to step in if, if anything goes awry. Okay. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your arc phone and you can take check the tasks you have waiting. The two There are two missions, ty types, missions and requests. Missions will see completed to progress in your adventure while requests are optional given by people you meet. Well, you know I'm going to do all the requests. Hmm. Pardon, Mitsumi. Come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What do you need, Professor? You know how to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land. Mitsumi absolutely must pass this trial. And as a Professor of Pokemon, I got just the ticket to help accomplish that. He's right here. His great, great, great grandma. <laughs> Come on, Masui. Take the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to file off wild Pokemon outside the village. Little Dolans are rather dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? I used you in Black and White 2. I used you in both Sun and Moon games. But I don't remember ever using you. Oh, let's see if Race is anything. Why not just choose whichever you're, when your gut tells you to? Because then it would be Rowlet for a third time. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? First. Making a lot of assumptions here. Especially if I'm supposed to be 15. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach will be, for me will now be yours to keep. Good show! I'll tuck Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you. So take it, it's yours. Oh, that's neat. Would have advised my girl pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Look at those two cheer on their pal Cyndaquil. Maybe they just want to help. Maybe they just want to help Mitsumi with her trial. It could be. They did go dashing from the village when Mitsumi fell out of his car. After all, eh, yeah, not to worry you too. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the by, what species is Cat and Silene charged you with catching? Ah, that's a mention. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. 
enthusiasm is a little dulled by a burp there, but <laughs> they give you some Pokeballs to use during a trial then. How many more? Those Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat, as you've already seen. I'll have this trial clear in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Move at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. Oh my god! Wait. I got close to her and my controller vibrated. It's safe here in Jubilee Village. Don't forget you can always return here to rest and recover. Okay. She's a prototype Joy. Oh, no, no, you know what she is? She's one of the, the stat trainers. Look at her hair. So the, she's the stat trainer you don't meet until post-game, I think. Running low on potions. Guess I'll need to go and gather more materials. Hey, Silent! <laughs> See, I swear she has some sort of bird. Look at the perch next to there. You know it is expected of you. Now it is up to you to see things through. I just want to make sure you don't actually have any kids, right? Because, um, I have some terrible news about, like, the future. <laughs> Get out of my office. Okay. Oh my god! Look at this! Hi! I don't want to stand directly under you, do I? Nothing here seems relevant to you. Well, I will be the judge of that. Oh, this trial cleared in no time. Is that a Chesterfield couch? My goodness. There are... How would she... <laughs> what if her descendants would become evil? I was just to see how you're enjoying the game. It's really neat so far. Herod Supernova. Okay, so Starly, Pikachu... Abra, Rosalia. So in the middle there, it looks like Pikachu, Eevee, and I don't know. Some sort of horse with a high ponytail. But not on its tail, like on its head. It's hard to guess what this is supposed to do, but it certainly does look impressive. <laughs> Oh, so I'm assuming this is where Cyndaquil would go if I hadn't grabbed it. Oh, hi! Hi, Sugar Pop! He's going to be going into this game blind. Just glad to see you're enjoying things. Awesome, yeah! Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Great night. We're in the middle of nowhere out here, we have to make what we need ourselves. Maybe a small thing, but it sure feels great to be able to make what's needed for the team. Adventure into pre proto sito later. Yes. Oh, this is cool. Everything is made in-house, huh? I thought I saw a sparkly coming from over here. Neat. 
Well, the map doesn't actually help me at all. Hey, are those... They are! Electric lights! Hey, um, where'd you come from? Your clothes look kind of weird. Just a random kid hanging out here? Son, where are your parents? <laughs> huh. Up on the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team's Commander, Kamado. Not going up there until we know a little more about you, Mystery Kid. Now what if I go up this way? You're not going up there until we know a little more about you, Mystery Kid. Fine. <laughs> okay, to the left, he said, yeah. There we go. Pebble in the road. Oh, there we go. There he be. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? No, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to any other in battle? You have a Togepi, don't you? I saw the photo. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Cynical, use quick attack. There we go. <laughs> a female Togepi, huh? Okay. That's like, what, a 12.5% chance? That is a nice battle theme. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Ooh, a new move. Ember? It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn moves more and grow even stronger. <laughs> Badoof has a great idea! I have a great idea, too! At least he didn't have a gibble. I know, right? Although, she does have a tug of kiss in platinum. And I'm very grateful we didn't have to deal with that today. So few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Okay, baseball. We'll get baseball real popular here, alright? At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my sky-fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Sixty HP? 
can use them on your Pokemon or wherever they w might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. If you have that battle, if you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Field Lands! Whenever you leave Jubilee Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way someone can come collect you if things go wrong. They go wrong a lot. He's pretty busy. I hope you make it through this. Am it me correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Jeez, obsidian field lands are pretty big. How the heck did potions get worse in the future? I don't know. It's our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now, remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Oh! Professor! Something wrong? Ah, well, you see. Captain Silene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? Yeah, I'm honest, my dear. I don't intend to lift a finger. But Simi's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. So, in other words, I'm still the one bearing responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs, you might say. I find the state of affairs to be deplorable. <laughs> Let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this, Mitsumi. Oh, you're just galaxy member. Stay alive, and good luck passing, too. Can I, can I have some food? I don't like how she comes to a sudden stop like that. This is Aspiration Hill. Oh, that's nice. Look, Badoo, for finding the Pokemon you need already. Do. Maybe some kind of prodigy, but just in case. Here's what Captain Silene taught me. Hold down the ZL button, I don't know what that means, to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon. <sighs> Which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. I'm a lot taller than Ray, huh? I wonder if that would happen if I was playing as Ray. Yay! One Badoof caught. Now on we march. Can I find anything before I catch up with him? It doesn't look like I can. Where are you even going? Okay, I see it down there. It still makes me stop for him. 
Now, Starly here is the kind of run at the drop of a hat. Not to worry. Crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. Press the B button to crouch. I still don't know what that means. And make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouch low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. And you just run up on it. Dip. No! My finger slipped! Okay, I can cancel it with the B button. Okay, it's coming back. Alright. <laughs> Yay! And that Starly caught too. I admit, I'm impressed so far. Are you gonna tell me about this tree? I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Silene's wise teachings, have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. The captain's real expert on these things. Then once you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and it'll bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partners to shine. Reach the final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Okay, yeah, how do I... I would... I would like... I'm gonna sneak up on him. <laughs> there it is. Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? Ah, figures. Yeah, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. Oh, okay. Oh! Haha! -ha. Not to worry, I'll teach you the trick to catching them. You draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball to try and catch it. You got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you learned out in the battle with Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. And you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon. Press the X button. Okay. Although, I want to go back and investigate this tree. Yay! Okay, oop. Oh crap. Uh. 
Me! Aha, roll out. Do, do, roll out. There we go. <laughs> you did you really you really did you did it it's three species of pokemon caught you really are some kind of prodigy must have given professor lavender the shock of his life First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch them all or escape Pokemon one after another. I honestly didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. Here you are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. Ah, said you passed the trial of flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Mitsumi. You're taking your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. I heard, don't we have to sit in the dark room for like, you know, half an hour straight? I gotta admit, it's true. You've got real talent for this. Now then. My best report, Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? I realized my uh, accent for him got increasingly Australian, and that's not what I'm going for. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person could have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who could manage that. <laughs> Come on, you two. That's not Dilla Deli. Captain Sarlene, it's our report at headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. She rarely has them, but when she does, they're absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Can I get my hair changed now, please? <laughs> uh. Oh, you just gotta tell me the same thing. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. My God, even your even your descendant didn't get that savage, and he actually tried to kill me. Congratulations, you passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. It's invisible right now. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your uh, first official order from your captain. Your ears don't stick out nearly as much as his do. Go change your uniform. Use the mirror in your quarters to make sure you put it on right. It's a little tricky. Especially since you have to tie that thing around your waist again. Or I guess around your rib cage. You can some skills, kid. Good thing, too. It's dangerous outside the village. I told you I wasn't going to be using the same voice for anyone twice. <laughs> And off the shoes. Excuse me. Yep. 
Yes. Oh my, look at that. They just have contacts here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. You changed it to your Survey Corps uniform! Yay! Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. She just comes up and ties this stuff on ya. Now present yourself to the commander. Brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. You can read some of the agriculture corps notes. Expand expand our arable land area. Secure more farmlands to meet labor farm hands to meet labor demands. Could Pokemon be of use in this regard under discussion? Oh, look, she's going to explain it all. Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. I know that hairstyle! Captain Zizu commands that all members must be in perfect harmony with their Pokemon. See whatever it is their Pokemon see. Teach them the moves most suited to them. us. Hey, Mercury, I hope you're still here. Since it looks like this one's got a ponytail with it. missed you. Good Pokemon to help with our manual work. No way, that's crazy talk. <laughs> Good, you're here! Ah! Eevee! Oh, it's that woman with the weird hairstyle from the preview. Sanqua. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodging in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Hmm. Claire? She looks like a cross between Claire and that woman from the first movie. Who was telling the story about the storm, you know? Aha! 
that, but first, I'm, oh, I can't. They're Claire and Karen, yeah, that's right. She looks like Karen, too. I couldn't avoid it. I got into a cutscene with him. I've been waiting for you. Rumbling. I am Kamado, commander of the Galactic Expedition Team. Galaxy Expedition Team, sorry. Using a different name here. <laughs> Hmm, so you're Mitsumi. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of! Face me in combat! just flung me across the goddamn room. You got vigor, I'll give you that. You didn't work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, someone will be slow to trust an outsider, who literally fell right out of the blue. The suspicious among us might see your rival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. I warn you, Mitsumi. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. Of course you use the star system. In other words, you have no rank at all. Actually, you're pretty rank. You did shower or something, right? <laughs> Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed! The more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. Changing accents on him, aren't I? Look at all the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. Yay! And Holy shlomoly, that's like a year and a half worth. <laughs> No, nah, they never have inflation. It's always the same price no matter when you are in the timeline, isn't it? You'll have to buy the necessary materials. No stars were the gruntiest of the grunts. We are! No, no, the gruntiest of the grunts wasn't even allowed to have any Pokemon. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain! Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right, whatever you need in the survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you could buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. Also, the guy there gives me the creeps. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me, Pratalon. Let's go to the craft work so you can try it yourself. Ooh, craft work. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's not even talking to me. She's completely uninteractable. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anthe, I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you would change your clothes, so here you go. I hope I do hope they fit. 
<laughs> awesome. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. Does your hair just do that automatically? Hey, hey, this way the craft works! I wanna... I wanna get my hair done. I wanna make it green. What could I help you with today? Let's get you inside, shall we? Take my money straight up, huh? Oh well, then have yourself a seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Now then, my dear, what sort of look would you like to go for? I, uh... I, I just I just want the the color. I can't do green yet. What? But I know I can do all kinds of neat colors later on. Oh my, uh... I mean, that's just the same style, but with the handkerchief in it, right? What's changing here? Am I getting- oh, eyebrows! Man, I want green hair. All done now. Why, wow, you look simply wonderful. Thank you for coming in today. Take care to not leave anything behind. You took stuff, right? Oh, I wanted to look around. Okay, let's see. I haven't seen you here in the village before. Okay. Oh, revives. There we go. What did you s Oh yeah, you're the food guy. This here's the craft works, and there's the workbench. It's where you craft things. Duh. Pretty self explanatory, right? When you stepped up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. To ask for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. Yeah, I, um, I did. Any recipes you, should, you get should tell you what materials you need to complete them. That's kind of what makes them recipes. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. Yay. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe craft guy is Norman's answer? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that was some fun craftsmanship. Hard to believe it was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. Of course, of course, the Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. <sighs> if the Pokeballs are craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are! Yay! A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Laventon continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Neat. 
tasks with unreported data, huh? Cool. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon that are in this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I'm gonna get going on those myself. I'll be happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use the assistance with. Come join me at the field lands camp whenever you are ready, my good Mitsumi. Yay. I couldn't help it over here. If you're going to the field lands camp, would you mind taking your request for me? Boy, you are just too young of a face to have those beside burns. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. I want to see something here. Uh, 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 no. Um, there's something I want to be able to do, but it I don't see how it could let me do it. Which is, I want to be able to do this instead of relying on the stick to control aiming. Yes? Okay, thank you for telling me. Yes, okay. No star member. <laughs> Didn't I just receive a request? I swear I did. Requested by blank. Yeah, I swear I just got a request from this guy. Oh, okay. So this is a Pokemon called Wormpool. Have you heard of it? So I was having a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Ah, look at that. And I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're rather survey corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? I'll be rewarding it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple if you can. That newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? <laughs> well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. When I start see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've ca completed it. Got something over here. I know Shinx's ears is odd markings on the insides, but where were they? This guy was in the base. Oh my god, the picture he was looking at. It's Kamado in the wide stance. He's, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Okay, yeah, I have one. It'll be on me right now. Select. <laughs> Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. 
That's it. Its ears have, have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. <laughs> wow, you caught Pokemon? Folks come here for, to history because there's no place for them back home. I'm gonna keep doing that voice. His name is Waka. Catch a whirlpool. Oh, look at that. I'm running. <laughs> right oh, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. Details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex feed or reference any time. Unusual research tasks. Must f catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now, there's one no more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Mitsumi. Wild Pokemon may attack you anytime. And they do dodge you like your life depends on it. I mean, it kind of does. Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go! See, that's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. Um, my scarf is kind of covering a neck brace. It's. I probably shouldn't have done a dodge right then and there. <laughs> Unless Shinx got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. Hey, no need to worry. You got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Are you really the person I want to be learning from? Research tests aren't simply about catching Pokemon, they're required to carry out all sorts of exciting field work. Now I suggest you listen to Ray's advice. Why? Find everything much clearer with his help. No, I would not like to return to the village. I mean, eventually, yes. There we go. Get ready for some Survey Corps wisdom! Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what task you have for that Pokemon. See it in a research test from Padoof, including include one about how many you've caught? That's right. Catching one won't... J j just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, then more and more! When it's time to battle a Pokemon... Remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Go try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Okay. Okay, it's not going to take me straight to... Okay. Investigated the Bidoof that bothered the village. Oh my! Bidoof is keeping its... Bidoof ran away. I'm 
I'm pressing ZL. Okay, there we go. Okay. See, I'd like to be able to just twist my wrist for this. Okay, there. All right. Oh, cool. Everyone gets experience. Hmm. I see you back there. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I can just do this. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Oh, Badoof learned a new move. I think I'm gonna go to bed enjoying this house game BJ. If you run into not Saturn, say hello for me. Yes. Absolutely. Hmm, this looks suspicious. Medicinal leak. Awesome. Oh, there's another one down here. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a Starly. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Well, it was nice having you, Mercury. Oh, darn it. go. Yay! <laughs> Something you caught without being spotted. Just out of range. Hey, thank you, Woody. <laughs> this is I have eight Pokeballs, but he gave me fifty. There we go. Try some ember. Starly is keeping its guard up. Okay. Hard done. <laughs> oh, we got an apricorn for it. Nice. Oh, there's another leak. What is over this way then? I'm still not 100% certain what I'm really supposed to be doing out here. Yay, five Africorns! Neat. There we 
we go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> what is that red thing in the distance? Well, I want to go see what that red thing in the distance is. Is this where I get that stone that we used? It would be irresponsible to dodge here. Hmm. Yeah, tumblestone, five. Ne Ooh. Iron chunk. Neat. This is fun. Oh. Oh my. Okay. I thought I thought there was like a Okay. So it actually is a haze that I can't go past. Can I go any further? <laughs> Use your hands, girl, your hands. Okay, fine. Hmm. Vivi choke. Okay. Okay. Quick attack, come on. Critical hit. Oh wow, another okay. <laughs> okay, defeated Shinx. It turned to do a cherry berry. within sight. I don't really care about being within sight right now because I'm not trying to fight the Shinx. Isn't that cute? Come on. All right. There we go. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, that that is uh um items. Use Cyndaquil. Since I'm supposed to rub it on though, right? Okay. Ember. She changes stance too. There we go, come on. Yay. Come on, Shinx. Well, Shinx too. You know, at no point have I been offered the option to name my Pokemon. Oh, there's another one of those tumble stones or whatever they're called. Yes, tumble stone. Do I not have a... Uh, no. It's the ledge! It's a ledge! Just like in the main series! <laughs> yeah. Neat. 
Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Oh, I see another medicinal leak down there. Oh, I hear. Oh. <laughs> I hear a, a bird. Oh, oh my. Um. Oh, okay, there's something over here. Oh! Bug war. Oh, look at that. Okay, but right now, though, we have our focus is on the wormiest of the worms. What an odd area. What an odd area it is. It's like... Look at this. Look at this, it's all dead. In one circle. Okay, there's more tumble stones. Okay, and more. Oh! Okay, we're getting out of here. Oh man, oh dear. Oh, that was, um, that was something. I am not going to be killed by a freaking butterfly. Okay, I saw another medicinal leak over this way. <gasps> Luxray. Or, or Luxio, rather. <gasps> it's got the red eyes from the trailer. Okay, I think this is actually the one we saw. Oh dear, okay. Um oh, come on. This way. back this way. Okay, we got some slowdown. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay. Phew. Okay, Shinx, we're gonna keep running. We're not going to impede in your domain. Okay. It's silly music for something you need to be on alert for. That's so cute. Okay, come on. Do, do you not come with? There.
Okay, well there's looks like another tree to oh, I don't know if I can get up on that. That must be when I get braviary. Oh. How about that, huh? Yay. Hey, check me out. I'm a big shot. Uh, no. Oh, does that mean because... No, because I didn't... Okay, I want to see my Pokemon. Okay, uh... Move. Put him right there. Okay, let's see here. I actually have to take a short break. I'm gonna do that when we run up on Ray here really quick. I know I'm laying out on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon and check your research notes and ask for it. Miss Hilton ZL and press down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? Get that done if you hadn't some tall grass to catch him. Give him a try. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. So just dick around until then. More energies Pokemon got, the huh, it'll be to catch. If you battle a Pokemon at a lower HP or maybe inflict paralysis and move like shrinks of Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. Okay. Okay. Yay! You've caught without being spotted. Yay! Okay. Number. Okay. I still have to. Okay, I'm just going to go back to camp. He gave me 50 Pokeballs, and there's no way that I used. Even half that already. Oh, you just popped in. Okay, let's see. Uh, I could use a rest. Uh, just a little while. But because of that, I have to put my birds to bed. So I will be right back. Enjoy the lovely Bidoof. Ah, uh, me, just in case. <laughs> Say hi if you get here. All right. Be right back. Uh, 
Okay, I'm back. And I brought something neat.
Okay, settings, audio. Okay, hello, 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 hello. Okay, I can hear myself. Okay, happy news. It will cheer me up a bit. Um, can you can you hear me? How is it? Da 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 da. Okay, all right. Um. Happy news that will cheer me up a bit. Okay, well, I have no idea how long the audio glitch was for. Um, I had people in here, but that was like half an hour ago. Okay. All right. Let me know what the happy news is that will cheer me up. I promise I will not do anything story related or speak to a person while you are in the chat. Okay. You ever thought you sent a friend something and then found it on her pile of papers and realized you never sent it? Were you were you were you trying to find some like wondering why I never said anything about a present and then you found it in your house? kind of feel bad about the person I purchased it from. <laughs> but I guess they wouldn't have offered to sell it to me if they, you know, really wanted to hold on to it, so. <laughs> oh, Nat. Oh, Nat. Oh, Net. Oh, Nettie Boo. Also, it's a good thing you didn't get here right at the beginning because the first, like, the first bit of this game kind of changes a bunch of what we thought we do. And you're going to look forward to that. You're going to sit that under your hat and you're gonna let that stew of what that could possibly mean. <laughs> oh, let's see here. <laughs> hey! I'm gonna only up because I wanna go in as blind as possible, but I wanna to tell you about that on stream because I do your reaction be hilarious and thank you for telling me about the audio issues too oh my goodness I don't know what it is about my audio glitching out lately I actually had to start this game twice because of that yeah totes <laughs> okay yeah have fun love you too 
Let me know when you get this game too. Finally, I can go talk to a person now. Okay. That was not the conversation I was hoping to have. Where the heck did Ray go? Ray's probably over by the bridge, isn't he? Okay, I thought this little row of pink flowers was something, but nope. Gracious me. Oh, ah, that's nothing. Have any strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge? Can't let you pass unless you're a first-star recruit. Then you'd probably be all right. Great. Ray! And da! Okay, Thunder Shock. <laughs> okay. Bidoof is looking around. There we go, come on. Okay. Yes, I'd like to throw a Pokeball. I am the monarch of all Bidoofs. Behold my mighty Bidoof hat and despair. Yay. There we go. Well, mainly I just wanted to get at this rock over here. Ooh, hey, look at that. Easy. Your Pokemon Smash open sparkling rocks for you. You find tumble stones inside the same tumble stones. You need to craft Pokeballs. No, it's a completely different tumble stone. What do you? Oh my. Okay. Weasel's ready to. Weasel's fixing the throwdown. Yes, I'd like to throw Pokeball. Of course I would. The freaking Buizel. Who wouldn't want one? Yay! Yay! How about that? I see more tumble stones over here. Go. Oops. Okay. Uh... Thunder shot. Come on. You can do it. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, frick. Okay, there we go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It turned into a medicinal leak. Aw, it's on Bidoofs. Yeah, fat little bird. Okay, come on. Starly. And then we cut without being spotted. A number I've evolved. I need to evolve three of them, really? Yay. Yay. 
back here. And I'm just looking for the stone. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. I can't believe I have two of those now. <laughs> Okay. My eagle eyes. Ooh. Okay, come on. Let's try this. Quick attack. Come on. I am busy. Gonna go hard on this one. There we go. Boy, who knows how long my audio would have been glitching if Netbug hadn't shown up. I really don't know what's going on, you know? Where did Ray go? That is a full on Rapidash, isn't it? And it's got the red eyes. Uh oh. Okay, yes, I just face planted in some rocks to get away from it. Okay, come on. Let's see. Oh, crap. Come on. Communicate my feelings to you. So much easier in Ranger. Come on. Mm -hmm. Capricorns are easy to make. Certainly, it seemed really hard. Okay, more leaks. I like leaks. You guys ever cook with leaks? There we go. We're in berries. Although you gotta like cut them in half lengthwise and really give them a good scrubbing because a whole bunch of dirt gets in them. Hat function is rating with a party of two. Hello, hat. How you doing? Uh -oh. I am trying to avoid this freaking Starly. How was Art Academy? What kind of abominations did you make tonight? I gotta know about your abominations. You make the best abominations, hat function. <sighs> Some of the textures in this game are weird. Like, look at that. This game starts in a very unusual way, and I can't really muse on it. 
Um, a Pikachu Navi fusion. Oh. Hey, Pika. I cannot even begin to comprehend the horrors that must be that must be at hand in something like that. I um uh, there you go. This is relatively tame compared to previous days. Uh, still I do question if you um you know, comprehend the severity of the creatures you bestow upon the world. Pokemon Art Academy was not meant to be used in such a way. Relatively is intentional there. Yeah. Yeah. I um I can only imagine right now I'm trying to find Ray, my uh field partner and professional dipshit. And I can't find him anywhere. I say I can find other people, but I can't find him. This guy won't let me cross the bridge. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first star recruit. Then you'd probably be alright. Right now, I am a zero star recruit. And, uh, there's this little thing causing trouble. Giant hole in the sky. Even started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, about that blocked. <laughs> What did they say I could use spoiled apricorns for again? Uh -uh. Oh, there. I came by here already. I'm going to talk to this guy instead. Okay, I already talked to you. Spoiled apricorns with the dude. It wouldn't let me. Oh, I didn't even need to... Around here you can call to po find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. I already caught a Buizel. It's in my party. It means it'll try to hit you with its move, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, research tasks for Buizel include seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see the move in battle for it to count towards that task, so battling is extra key here. I'm going on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off some of Buizel's tasks. I have... Okay, fine. Alright, we're gonna... All right, there we go. Come on. Is it quick attack? Probably not quick attack, is it? Come on. Really? It's just gonna stand there and taunt, huh? Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Oh, I didn't get anything from it, huh? Oh! Okay, uh... Check this action out, huh? Evolve. Do it! Frickin' heck, this is dramatic! Oh, wow. Check that action out. Cascoon got the idea for a new move. Neat. Grit dust. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so it should tell me... Oh, it may stun the Pokemon. Okay, that's what a spoiled Apricorn is. Proper name is actually Brown Apricorn. Okay. Okay, let's see over here. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. I, I, I don't have... Really? I can't actually do anything with it? Huh. That's really bizarre. So it only knows Harden and nothing else then? Or what? I'm just saying, I have five viewers. If everyone in chat starts talking, then I get an achievement. Alright. Okay. Okay, so... Aqua Jet. So much time in my mystery dungeon, I literally forgot rollouts in the multi-hit move. <laughs> yeah, well, it's supposed to hit several times in a row. Okay, let's see. Roost, Aerial Ace, wow. Okay, Ember, Quick Attack. But it says I have to catch more than one Cyndaquil. Maybe it's just that I have to catch, or I have to do multiple things in that field. It's kind of obscure what we have to do right now. What? Come on. Okay, Wild Bidoof is fixated on using Rollout. I'ma use it right back at you. Da -da. Bidoof is looking around. What? Really? There's basically nothing about this game. I think it's hilarious. They finally made a game that's actually about doing research on Pokemon. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, let's try this. Seriously. Seriously. You're really just gonna do me like that and just run off, huh?
Okay, come on. <laughs> Kazoom! The dupe is fixated on using rollout. I can't pick up the item while in battle, huh? <laughs> oh, man. So, hat, my audio has been glitching out, and I don't know why. Um, a friend of mine came into the chat about 20 minutes ago, said that she couldn't hear me, and that there was just this weird, this weird noise. And it actually happened when I tried to start stream as well. So I don't, I don't really know what's happening. Oh, he has been fine since I got here. Well, that's good. Audio is black magic. Yep, yep, yep. I do feel that way sometimes. Well, both times I've been able to fix it by pulling out my microphone and putting it back in. Ooh, okay, it's another ponyta. Okay. Okay, let's see. By the way, do you like my party hat? <laughs> or in that case, do you like my party, comma, hat? Goon face, yay. Yeah. Cherry berry times three. Also awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, plus a new move, nice. Is that Ray again? That's Ray again. Hey, Ray! You're doing pretty well for. Okay, this is a. Okay, you got a massive spoiler in your face right away, then, Hat. <laughs> You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. You were hiding, weren't you? There's no okay. Alright. Makes sense. And here's a recipe for potions, too. Potions in this game are like regular super potions. I'm gonna assume the plot is the opposite of Gates to Infinity, where you used to be a Pokemon and then fell out of the sky as a human. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. Or with an urn berry and a medicinal leak, you can whip up a potion so heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. Research going all right? You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokedex's cover. It does not seem that I do. Um. Okay. <laughs> R 
report to the prof I have been reporting to the professor, left and right. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with Professor Laventon. See you soon. Ray. Okay, uh, I need to complete the Pokedex entry for Starly. Let me prove it before I jet. Gotta get to sleep soon, yeah. It is, like, really, really freaking late. And, like, you're even later. I mean, it's 2.30 a.m. here, so, or 12.30 a.m. here. So it's like 2.30 a.m. for you. Yeah? I heard something. Okay, come on, let's wiggle up this passage here. No, come on. Use your hands. Let's see, look, he's just going to pop into existence. There he is. Okay. Seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Money. Okay. On that note, let me check the research task you've completed thus far. Did I really just... I see, most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. I thought I had to do all of those tasks to get the data. Okay. Oh my god, really. Okay, that had me going. I thought I had to do all of that stuff to accomplish getting the dex entries. You made a good progress on, the, on this research task, Masumi. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you urge yourself a star. Show this woman about Starly's. Have you completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hurry, let me read it. Oh, wait, one moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. So the markings on their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible, I had no idea. I didn't either. Is that something new to this game? Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. I didn't want about it. I imagine I might finally bring myself to talk to Starly. If you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring one. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Okay. Right here. It's level three. You should be able to handle it pretty well. The smooth curl of the feather on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Why, hello there, Starly. No! I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it. After all, I've sight seen might let loose a move. Who outside the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. <laughs> the 
<laughs> okay. There we go. Made 48 Pokeballs. And let's go talk to the captain, shall we? I want to see something right quick. I just want to look at something really fast here. Ah, okay. Things and stuff. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm. You've made progress. Seems you've earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. I kind of feel like I'm in Ranger right now. You can now use Heavy Balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Since it's using an exclamation point, I'm assuming it's not actually her talking. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. I'm not trying to find my way home or anything. A higher rank will grant you more a access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. For today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. There's a hole in the top of the sky. So, Mitsumi, my girl, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request Beauregard had? Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. You've noticed, right? So, it's our job as the Survey Corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, why don't you approach for the request recently, Ray? What's it all about? That one might be a better fit for Mitsumi than me. I don't think I'd be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. <sighs> oh yes, our request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived here in, his, in Hisui before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Hey, Mitsumi, before I go meet Mai in that request, of uh, that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Great. <sighs> I'll be at the training rounds. 
They've been catching lots of Pokemon. You can change up your team at the pastures, just so you know. They still do that thing where characters turn fully around before they start walking away, huh? Okay, I've already explored all of this area, so... Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member, and I've even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. That's right. Take a look at my, my very own partner. Pika! This is my Pikachu. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? Pika. Watching you at work, completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do my Survey Corps work well, my partner and I have got to be a team. And our first step towards being a real team is to battle your team! The Survey Corps Ray challenge you to battle! Haha, <laughs> we're both dealing with status effects. Oh my. Sumi used a potion! Ready, Kidna ate the potion! Haha! <laughs> you defeated Pikachu! Battle decided. Dun, dun. Whoa. You seem so in sync with your Pokemon. That was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up as best we can. Right, Pikachu? Pika! Ah, uh, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Oh, oh is this my? So you're the one? The new recruit everyone's talking about? Oh, no, this is not my. The name's Zizu, Captain of the Security Corps. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Was she one of the people whose pictures was on the... was on the bulletin board? Captain Zizu's a master of an ancient martial art where you guide a Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in a strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, 
You could choose to unleash a move in the Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokémon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. <sighs> Choose which is right for a given situation, and direct your Pokémon with a little nudge. Well, that's what it meant by master. Okay. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, it's certainly handy to find out about before going to tackle Mai's request. You remember? I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down now to see about Mai's request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along, too. Get ready, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I, I mean double-checking what Pokemon you'll bring and maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zizu. Zizu. Here. Oh, okay. It's just not... Hello there, Survey Corps recruit. Did you need something from me? Got a question. Pokemon can master moves through leveling up. Once a move is mastered, you can choose to have your Pokemon perform it in the stronger Agile style, see? Okay. Okay, and who's this over here? So you're the new recruit from the Survey Corps. Don't slack off on making that Pokedex of yours. Wait, wait. Let's go out this way. It's rather impressive that you get so close to Pokemon when they're firing attacks at you. Oh, I bet you're skilled at dodging. Wiggle wiggle. Oh my goodness, I can fit back here. Canala Bridge. Just like the woman I just spoke with. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet so I always learn something new. Yeah, I want to see something. I want to see if Zisu is the woman from the picture. Talk to Kamado. I literally cannot. I can just walk in there, huh? Oh, goodness. Look at this.
So our building is meant to mirror Coronet in a way. Gracious me. Look at this. This is lovely. Oh, I can actually walk around here. Neat. <laughs> oh, heavens. It's going to take some getting used to. Usually the menu opens with X. Instead it switches styles with X. Nothing here seems relevant to you. Maybe it's this one? Okay, uh, it's probably not going to let me do anything until after it. You probably don't want to stack your books so close to this. saying. I'm just putting that out there. Alright. Bag in. Current goals. Spreading the usage of common crafting recipes and screening sufficient materials for the village. Status, in general, progressing favorably. Yes, I can I can do that up the steps. It's hilarious. Okay. But not Okay, how do I... Okay, hang on. Uh... Game controls, how do I save? Okay, opening this to get to the menu is going to be difficult. Uh... See, I happen to know of a mystery gift I can get right now. This is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> okay, that's not what I was expecting. is interesting. Okay. Maybe a normal have to wait, sorry. How do I I don't know where I'm supposed to no. Okay. I don't know how I save my game. 
I honestly don't know. Um, plus button isn't working. Um, I, um, I don't know how to save my game. Oh. Okay, I saved my progress. I've had a very fun first day with this game, but now, as you can see, it's almost 1 a.m. Uh, I'll be sure to do a sound test next time, see what's going on. I'm going to run that issue by a few people. Um, but I want to thank everyone for joining me. Uh, let's see who we can raid right now. Um, okay, Super Ninvo is playing a retro game. It doesn't say what. I think he's playing Mega Man. Um, channel preview. Let's see. Yes. Uh, is he offline? I can't, I can't tell. Let me open it up in another window. Um, oh, no, as it turns out, nobody is online except Max Dude, but he has 8.7 thousand, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna look up by game. I wanna see. Would you say the glitch category is more competitive than the glitchless? Okay, I'm gonna see if anyone is playing... Come on, let me drag it down right now, okay? Is it... Uh, no. Nobody is playing Pokemon Conquest. That's weird. The description on Twitch for Pokemon Conquest says you play as a warlord of the Primus Kingdom, not Aurora. Duh. That's very strange. Uh, okay. So what Let's other Tomb Raiders have you tried? Have you tried, um... I don't want to hear under... someone playing Tomb Raider for crying out loud. Okay, uh... Hmm. Come on. Anyone playing this? Nope. No one's playing that. Um... Let's look up who's playing Final Fantasy VI right now. Uh, live channels. Um, nah, you know what? I just, I just want to go to bed. So I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay, I will see you guys later. Um, thanks everyone who is in here. Uh, thanks for telling me definitely about the audio problems. Thanks for the raid hat. Uh, and the raid hat. <laughs> okay. Um, I will see you all later. Uh, until next time, I'm Blackjack Gaviani, and you wish you had this sweet-ass hat. <laughs>